The CDC says those COVID-19 rapid tests that a lot of people got so they could go see their families over the holidays may be even less accurate than first believed. Initially, researchers thought they were 97% accurate. Now they're saying they may only be 80% accurate, and that figure actually drops to around 40% for some asymptomatic people. News 8's Kelly Hassadal has more on that and also a closer look at just how long you're immune to COVID-19 after you're infected. Yeah, and there were definitely people who relied on that rapid test result so that they could gather for the holidays here at this rapid testing site in downtown San Diego. I can tell you it was definitely busy here right before the holidays. One expert I spoke to today says a single negative rapid test can give you a false sense of security. There's been suggestion that possibly some of the surge we're seeing now is, is from people who went to get these rapid tests so they could go gather with their family and friends on the holidays, got a negative test when maybe truly they were positive, went ahead and, and gathered with their family and friends and then just spread the virus. Do you think that's an accurate thing that could have happened? Oh, absolutely. It's contributing to what's happening. Dr. David you know, Pride, director of microbiology at UC San Diego, says a negative rapid test doesn't guarantee you're not infected with COVID-19. His department did a study comparing rapid tests to the more accurate PCR tests, and the results were stunning. We found them to be woefully inaccurate. Um, and where their inaccuracies fall apart uh, tends to be in people who are expressing moderate to lower levels of the virus. New research by the CDC now says the rapid test may only be accurate 80% of the time. And for asymptomatic people, that number drops to around 40%. A single negative rapid test isn't something that anyone should be comfortable with in terms of saying you absolutely do not have the disease. He says the rapid tests have also produced a small number of false positives as well. But he says the rapid tests can be useful in settings like colleges where people are getting tested consistently. Meanwhile, scientists at the La Jolla Institute for Immunology have found people infected with COVID-19 may carry a natural immunity to the disease for anywhere from eight months to several years. This research really answers the questions that everybody had from the beginning, like, you know, after infection with the virus, is my immune system able to, first of all, recognize the virus, and second of all, memorize the virus. Daniela Weiskopf, one of the senior authors of the study just published in the online edition of Science, says they analyzed samples from nearly 200 people infected with coronavirus and found that after eight months, the immune systems of 90% of participants still recognize the virus. We are absolutely interested to see how does this look like, you know, a year after infection, 18 months after infection, two years after infection. So we will follow the same cord. But she says anyone who has been infected should still get the vaccine. She points out that 10% of participants did not have immune memory to the virus. And without knowing which category you fall into, you need the vaccine to protect you. Kelly Hesedal, News 8.